So far in our development unit, we've learned that cells grow and divide when they enter the cell cycle and pass through a series of stages that culminates in the production of two identical cells. But we've also learned that not all cells divide at the same rate. Some cells never divide and they are stuck in G0. Some divide really frequently. What determines whether a cell divides and when a cell divides? Well, this is up to the cell cycle control system, and that's what we're going to explore in this video. There are three main mechanisms for controlling cell division. The first mechanism is anchorage dependence. In other words, cells need to be attached to a solid surface in most cases before they will divide. They must be anchored. The second factor is density-dependent inhibition. Inhibition means to stop. Density refers to how crowded something is. So essentially, if cells are really crowded or high density, they're not going to grow and divide. If, however, cells are at low density and there's a vacancy, they may grow and divide. The third and most important factor in controlling cell division is growth factors. As you can see in this experiment, here we have some cells. If the cells are not given a growth factor, they fail to divide. But if the cells are given growth factor, they will divide. So what is a growth factor? Well, it's just a protein released by a cell that will stimulate another cell to grow and divide. And there's at least 50 different growth factors in your body. Now let's explore in a little bit more detail how growth factors control cell division. And in order to understand this, we have to look at the overall cell cycle control system. Here's what the cell cycle control system looks like. Here's our cell cycle, and you can see at various points in the cell cycle, there are checkpoints. Well, the control system is really just a set of molecules that will either trigger or stop events at these various checkpoints as the cell proceeds through the cell cycle. Let's zoom in on these checkpoints. Here's the checkpoint at G1. If a cell receives a go-ahead signal, a green light, it'll proceed to the next phase of the cell cycle, S. If it does not receive that signal, in other words, it gets a red light, it won't proceed to S phase, and instead it will enter G0, a non-dividing or resting state. Well, what are these signals? These signals are growth factors. And here we can see that in this picture. Here's a small protein molecule, and when it's released by a cell and binds to another cell, there's a series of events that occur, but essentially it tells the cell cycle to proceed to the next checkpoint. Now this leads us to cancer. Cancer is directly related to the cell cycle because it's a disease of the cell cycle. Here we can see some cancer cells. And the problem with these cells is that they are growing and dividing when they should not be. So a cancer cell does not respond normally to cell cycle control. In other words, it may divide even if there are no growth factors, even if it's not anchored to a surface, or even if the density is really high. All three of these things should prevent cell division, but a cancer cell ignores. Now there's a genetic basis for cancer. Let's see how that works. Here we have a normal cell, and within this cell, there are several different genes that help control cell division, and those genes are found on these chromosomes. Now over time, mutations may occur in those genes that control cell division, and if enough mutations accumulate, those genes won't work properly, they won't be able to control cell division correctly, and we will have a cancer cell. So it's important to note that cancer is caused by mutations in genes controlling cell division. They may be genes that produce growth factors, uh, they may be genes that produce things that stop growth factors. Um, but it's also important to note that you need more than one mutation. You need multiple mutations in order to go from a normal cell to a cancer cell. And in class tomorrow, we will explore cancer and its relationship to the cell cycle in more detail.